And welcome to a brand new Gator Snapper playthrough of Resident Evil slash Biohazard HD Remaster. Yeah, this game's playing in- Whoa, fuck, shit, what's going on? Oh, good, it's just doing, I guess, a- What is this? Is this part of the game, or is this, uh... Oh, this must be like a cinema. Yeah, okay, it's a cinematic thing. Jesus. Well then, okay, welcome to a brand new Gator Snapper playthrough, Resident Evil. Never played this game before. This is, as I already said, the remaster on fucking Steam, and I don't know. This is like a big game that everyone's always talked about. My friends told me about it, and I was like, well, fuck. Why don't I try and play and see how it goes? But unfortunately, it's from that fucking PlayStation era where the fucking every movement is tank controlled, so trust me, I'll probably have plenty to complain about in this game, but. I don't know, it's such a big fucking chapter in video game life that, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, let's, yeah, fucking go into it, I guess. So, uh, yay, new game! Oh, okay, I just, I guess that's for the people that don't have eyes that are playing this game. Oh, jeez, and, oh, uh, god. Uh, what should I do? Should I just go all, like, original? Should I just, all original? What is this, by the way? Use the new control scheme or the original. Well, fucking hell, I keep saying original, it's starting to drive me crazy, so I think I'll go alternate, because, you know, I was literally just shitting about how it controlled like a tank, so, yeah, okay, I'm good with all this, let's keep it, see how it goes. Um, how do you like your games? Well, this is pretty, uh, surprising. Like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike, good exercise, not too strenuous, or relaxing. Well, I think I'd like to go on a hike, but, you know, I don't like good exercise. Hmm. Well, maybe I like taking a walk. This is like the weirdest fucking version of like picking your difficulty. Let's just go on a hike. There we go. Changes the whole fucking course of the game. Oh, and uh, Chris. Re oh, character select. Jesus, I know nothing about this game. Uh, okay, so it's still Chris Redfield. Is there like two different versions of him? Is that what's going on here? Well, who else do we have? Jill Valentine. Her eyes are. Uh, Let's just say haunted and leave it at that. Also, her nose is bulbous. Oh, this one's better. I like this one. I'm sorry, other Jill Valentine. Uh, so, wait, are the Okay, so it's just Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Uh, well, I like playing as female characters, so, I mean, it wouldn't really hurt to play as, uh, cutie, cutie Jill Valentine. Okay, sweet. Let's do that. See how this goes. So, I hear this game's actually also pretty creepy. And, I mean, the fucking loading screen I was looking at, that was pretty, uh, it, sh it was pretty creepy looking at it. But, I mean, I'm also Alpha thinking, oh, Raccoon Forest, oh, wait, maybe I should be quiet for this. What, but, to finish that thought, I was also thinking that, like, this is scary from that time period. Who knows if it'll still be scary to nowadays, me. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I scare easily, so, uh, here, let's just hope for the best. God, it just seems to be all I'm saying. Huh? Murder? You mean zomburder? Because zombies, that was not obvious enough. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm sure it's just your normal cannibal situation going on here. Oh, that reminds me. There's a fucking new Resident Evil game that works. Resident Evil 7. I think it's 7. Yeah, but I don't know. From the looks of it, they finally got bored of the, uh, the normal style of the game and turned it into... Uh, just another fucking first-person horror game. It kind of reminded me of Outlast looking at the demo. Huh? Who the hell's Kevin? Oh, Jesus. That doesn't look like he's a zombie victim, I gotta say. Also, why was he so freaked out? It's a dead body. I'm sure you see them in your line of work. Uh-huh. Also, why is this... Why am I listening to this asshole talking when I'm playing as Miss Jill Valentine? Uh, you say it's a nightmare. I'm sure it's fine. I wonder if this will count as my horror game quota for, like, the month? I don't know, I play them at such irregular times, it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is what a first-person game looks like. Too bad we won't be dealing with that anymore. Oh, okay, so this is neat. So, my, so it shows both of the characters here. Is one of them going to die based on the one I picked, or what? Hello? Oh, no, it's just another tree. Damn, forests are full of them. Better take this one down just to make sure it doesn't sneak up on me again. <laughs> It'd be great, he just starts fucking going all, uh, Predator on the trees. Except, who's the black guy in Predator? I don't remember his name. Yeah, no worry. What the fuck? Never mind. Something to- Whoa! Something to worry about. Alright. Oh, I'm sure this is fine. It's just a dog. It's fine. So, this isn't just like a- Oh, that is pretty gruesome. So, this isn't just your normal, uh, zombie- uh, human-only zombie apocalypse. It's, like, all-encompassing. Although, goddamn. I saw, uh, I saw my friends playing Resident Evil 5 or 6 or something, and that shit got kind of crazy, like, 
I don't think it's zombies, like, at all. Just gonna throw that out there. Motherfucker's, like, prototype up in this bitch, throwing, like, a flesh bone whip all around. Jesus. I don't wanna uh, clean that off and, like, get infected. So, are we, like, going out or something? Or no? Okay, fine. Guess there's no time to chat while we're being chased down by the fucking hordes of the undead damn. Alrighty then. So, I'm hoping the dogs are gonna be, like, the least in my problems. They seem kinda scary. Actually, it just makes me wonder what the other fucking uh, zombies are gonna be like. I don't know, probably away from here, you know, away from the zombie apocalypse that's in the works. Oh, wait, is this where this guy dies? Oh, he is so dead. Yeah, oh, nope. Ha, uh, oh, I thought I'd saved him just like he'd saved me. Fine, I guess female characters can't take care of themselves. I like to make problems where there aren't any. I'm just your typical fucking Tumblr girl. Uh, no, I have never used a Tumblr before. I have looked at one before. It's great for porn. Yeah, there's a thumbs up, and I guess you could add like a little blinky wink noise right there. So it's like ding. This is like Tumblr porn. Oh, enter the survival horror. Am I or? Oh yeah, there we there go. Are only three Hello. Stars members. Left stars members? Wesker, That's the fucking Barry, name of her stupid like our stupid special is. class of smart people in my high school. Or it was. I haven't what been in high school for like three years now. Uh, I don't know, it looks Not like a house, I gotta house. say. That's for sure. Uh, it's probably full of all sorts hey, of puzzles Wesker. and games. Where's Chris? Wesker. I'm gonna call you Whiskers. Jill, no. Whiskers the cat. You don't wanna uh, go back out there. Wow, you have a very expressionless oh, face. Fine. That so those sunglasses that? do it all for you, buddy. Uh, yes. I don't know what was what. No. no. Oh. Jill, I'm sorry. Could you could you put more I'm emphasis emphasis into that next time? No. Okay. Just thank you, Jill. It's uh, great to have you here. Right. Oh man, that's another thing go. I'd heard about this game. <laughs> That apparently the voice acting was not as good. That, I think it's this game. It might be a different one I'm thinking of, but uh, that's that's just something that comes to mind when I start thinking about this game. I think the voice acting is supposed to be really bad, but I mean, hey, that gives me plenty of fucking uh, shit to talk about at least. What do you see? More house. I don't like it in here. There's something really weird about this place, and it's four walls and ceiling. Shelter just isn't my game. Uh, yeah, it's a dining room. It's pretty nice, I gotta say. Hmm. Oh, oh, ooh, uh, oh, hey, I do move like, oh, thank God, thank you for the alternate control scheme, me. Also, how do I, okay, ink ribbon for typewriter, okay. So, what am I typing for? Oh, speaking of, my God, it's like they placed it so that I would use this typewriter. Maybe I should try it. Also, I have two pistols. I'm that kind of overprepared asshole. Okay, so let's see what this do. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Oh, God. Oh, so I have a limit on how I can save? Oh, that's heavy. That's gonna be bad. Because, <laughs> like, everybody knows how I play games by now. It involves oversaving. And if I can't oversave, uh, the only movement is the silent flicker of the candle's flame. If I can't oversave, I think I'm gonna have some problems here. Alrighty, so is this kind of like a sort of like a point-click uh, adventure where I just look at everything? A large filth encrusted jar. Okay, neat, neat. I think so, you better take a look at this. I think you should shut up. What is it? Oh, well, I don't think you should be fucking licking it. What are you doing, man? Ugh, I could tell by the taste, but you know, not by the distinct red color or the metal things. smell. I had to put it against my tongue. Uh -huh. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Okay, wait, I thought... Wait, you're not the guy I came in... Yeah, who the, what the fuck happened to Chris? He, like, came in here directly with me, didn't he? And who's this asshole? Hold on, did I, like, blank out for half a second? Because what the fuck happened to Chris? Maybe he really did Barry. die. Barry. Uh, -huh. what's up, buddy? Is that, is that it? You go, are you still licking blood? Come on, dude, this is not the time or the place. And are you gonna say anything, or... Is this really? Oh, oh, that was that was our conversation, huh? All right, I think it's time to get moving on. Let's go fucking check out the rest of this house. Ah, I see. Every fucking door's got its own little cutscene. This house is getting stranger and stranger. Okay, what's down here? Uh, uh okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'll admit this is kind of creepy so far. I mean, being up in an abandoned house and whatnot. What's through here? It's locked from the other side. Okay, what about further down here? I really don't like this. I haven't played a fixed point camera game in so long. I think for third person fixed point cameras. Oh, emblem of armor is carved under the lock. I think the fixed point camera for a third person game can be pretty scary because it puts uh, it put like, ah, what's the word for it? I guess I was, try I was thinking like it puts more emphasis on um certain scenes because like if they have control of it, I don't know. 
Because it's like then the players, like the viewer and this character is, I guess, separate from them. And you could see something creepy going on and they necessarily don't. And ugh, this is not a, uh, this is not good. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think like it has more cinematic potential, I suppose. It's locked. Okay, cool. Emblem of a sword is carved on the lock. Okay, so I see. I'm key hunting. Sounds good. Let's do it. Come on, girly with your butt. Uh, wait, did I already check out this? I did, right? Uh, there's an, it's, an, it's just an elevator here. Can't access from this floor, though, so nothing to worry about there. So nothing with this hallway is useful. So, oh, okay, it's just thunder. Thought I heard a heartbeat. It's gonna be like, something's gotta be pretty big for its heartbeat to be heard from here. Uh, what do we got? Oh, hello. Are you Chris? I think I'd recognize Chris at this point. You suffer from premature baldness and gross, nasty Voldemort ear and bloody lips. Oh, God, there's Chris. I think that was Chris. Ooh. Oh, you are not pretty. You are not pretty, and I don't want anything to do with you. So do I, like, shoot you, or can I aim? Oh, I can aim. Okay, neat. Uh, oh my god, this is horrifying. This aiming is the scariest thing so far. Ah! Ah! Blat! Blat! Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, do- How? How do I out? How do I get him off? Okay, there. Um, are you- You dead? Oh, he's not dead. Oh, this is the worst. Okay. Alright. Oh god, I can't- Okay. Maybe it'll be- Oh, this is horrifying. Oh god. Aiming like this is the scariest thing so far. Get out of here. Ah, uh, how do I hit his fucking head? Zombies are weak to headshots. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, are you dead? I don't know if he's dead. I think he's dead. He has to be dead, right? Oh, oh he's not dead? Oh, what the hell? Oh, this sucks. Get out of here. How many bullets do I even have? Okay. I think he's done now, right? Oh, no, I really don't want that. He's not dead. Oh, my God. This has to be a thing, right? No. First kills are special. There, I got the achievement. He's finally dead. Wow, how many bullets did that take? Do I do I just not have ammo? Okay, I'm okay with that because that was kind of a uh, that's kind of bullshit. How many bullets he took and how much the aim is like just fucking terrible. Are you Chris, the corpse of your comrade Kenneth? Who the fuck are all these people? I don't remember half of these people that are showing up all of a sudden. Looks like he's holding something. Well, that's cool. It's a video player. Oh, was he dog guy? He, was he guy that got eaten by dog? Oh, it's a shame. Actually, I need to fucking check this out. So. I know in Metal Gear, let's not hit that button. I know in Metal Gear there's like a, no, there's not in here, I guess. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be a button to make you go first person like uh, Metal Gear uh, 2 had, but no, I guess not. That's a shame. Yeah, better report back to West Gear. All right, let's do that. Let's do that and tell them the uh, the great news. Zombies eat a lot of bullets, and it's not good for us. Was it through here? Yeah, I think it was through here. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's going to be super psyched about how great this is all going. Hey, guys, we're already one fucking team member short, and the other one is, is still missing. Hi. Oh, I, it's a monster! I killed that. I killed that. I got the achievement. Don't lie to me. Yeah, okay, take care of it. Wow, good job, asshole. Yeah, big strong man take care of this problem. Okay, well, what do you know? He did take care of this problem. Looks like, uh, hell is gender roles got fucking Kenneth turned over its head today. This thing. Uh, Let's report yeah. this to Wesker. But did you find Chris? We're only worried about Chris right now. I mean, chances are the guy out there, sunglasses McDouchebag's probably being eaten as we speak. Oh, should I save? I mean, it's, oh, wow, creepy clock ambience. I, uh... Yeah, no, let's not save, because if I... Wait, do I have a limit? How do I check my inventory? Uh... Well, let's just assume that I, I still have... Oh, God. Oh, God. Shit's still going down. Still zombies. Why are there still zombies? I heard that. What the hell? Are they just, like... Wow, this is, like, the weakest I've ever felt against fighting a normal-ass zombie. This is, uh... Pretty good. Pretty good, I gotta say. Also, Whisker! where'd... Sunglasses. Where'd you go? Whiskers the cat. Aw, oh, jeez. Alright. Uh huh. How are we gonna look for him if we can't leave this fucking hall? Uh, it's, uh, we've already decided he's not in this hall, so how are we gonna find him? This is a stupid idea on your part. Alright, fine. Let's, uh, let's try our best then. What about this face? A heavy looking pitcher. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a pitcher. Uh, is he down here? Or is this leaving the hall? Hello? Whiskers? You down here? It's just like looking for a cat. Hello? Better finish searching the hall first. Oh, so I can go through there. Haha, uh -huh, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. God, I feel like I'm gonna have to pull up a walkthrough so many times in this game. So he, so I guess he, uh, so he actually is somewhere in here. Is that basically what it's saying? 
I guess that just leaves it to be uh, him to be upstairs, so eh. Really unsettling. Don't like the thought of being up here with all the zombie wombies. Speaking of, uh, hello? Hmm, where the fuck is this asshole? I mean, if it, yeah, better finish searching the hall first. What determines that I've been searching the hall, though? Like, is very act is it just me walking? Ooh, hello. Is it just me walking everywhere? You can't make anything out through the darkness and fog. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I guess I just, like, walk around everywhere, and that's what will determine that I've finished searching the area? Maybe I just have to talk to fucking Barry down there. Okay, let's try that. Barry, bad news. I don't want to look for him anymore. You can take over. I'm bored. There Barry. we go. Yeah, not here. Jill. No, uh, nothing. That's kind of What's going like. On around here? It's kind of neat that they'd have out. a. Uh, not. Here. I mean, yeah. Yes. You, let's let's let's, let's say it's as kind of neat that like do. they'd have you search around for this guy, and not even have like separate. a cutscene or anything. Because that's actually, I think that's more real than you okay, looking around it's like, oh no, Wesker has also been killed, or we found like a clue about him going somewhere else. We're just completely in the dark right now. Let's start from the first floor. Oh, but okay. wouldn't that help us to get lost? Like, oh, oh, thank God. It's what is it? Pick. Ooh, I'm cool with that. I'm sure I would, since I am, after all, a master thief. Alrighty then, sweet. Thanks. Uh, I may need it. Maybe. Listen. Something happens. Shoot first, ask later. Call. There you go. Got Best it? advice to get all okay. day. So, huh? Did he tell me like a specific direction to start walking, or am I just kind of on my own here? I'm. A, a, you'll, let's uh, let's check out this little doorway down here. It's kind of. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Sometimes a fixed point camera kind of messes with the movement. Uh, so let's see. Can I mess with it? I can. Let's not fuck with that. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. I don't. I'm fine with not knowing what's on the other side of the door. Alrighty then, so that's... Uh, wait, was that the way... That's where... That was the fucking dining hall. Don't need to go through there. So what about over here? Can I go through this door? Let's go through this door. This seems like a fun door. God, I'm gonna be so lost throughout this entire game. I feel I can already tell, like, everything is so open. Hello. Ugh. What is this? A portrait hangs on the wall. It's almost like it's watching you. I wonder if it is. Okay, what about this? A uh, woman drawing water. She's not drawing water. She's holding a picture. There's nothing art related about it at all. Oh, hello. There's a thing in there. How do I get thing from in there? Can I push this thing? Yes, I can. Well, I mean, I can stand on it, not so much push on it. So somehow I need to get back behind there? Why? Why would my character not just assume to grab the drawer? That's stupid. Why would I have to go behind it to push it? Okay, wait, hold on. What was this thing? Old photograph sits in the frame. Maybe this person connected to the mansion somehow. Okay, so is, wait, is there another button to grab? Oh, X is how you do this. Oh, knife. Survival knife. And it really does take ammo to save. Oh, boy. So, yeah, there's really... I. Okay. That's kind of... Why would she not just think, like, well, this drawer is here. Let's just fucking move it. Emblem of sword is covered. So I need, like, a sword key, maybe? Okay. Looks like they could come to life at any moment. Seriously, just grab the fucking drawer and move it to the fucking statue. It's all it takes here. Legend of Zelda did it. You can do it too, lady. Alright, whatever. Let's not shit on it too much. So where to go next? How about Tiny Door? Maybe Tiny Door leads to a tiny hallway. It's locked. Emblem of a helmet's carved on the lock. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So... Okay, that's just me. I heard a noise. It's like, ooh, what was that? Is this a door? Oh, it is a door. That's a weird-looking door. Actually, I like. I would never think that was a door. Well, I guess there's a big-ass handle on it. But, ooh. Oh, good. It's just moths. Friendly, harmless moths. Hopefully, the zombie virus hasn't gotten to them either. All right. Oh, this does not look like an area I should be in, or at least an area I don't want to be in. Hello. Anything here? Why is there a graveyard? Why is there a graveyard attached to the house? Oh boy, what about this? It's locked from the other side. Uh, you know, uh, girl, I don't want to like, uh, I don't want to like, you know, scare you or anything, but uh, zombies do tend to hang out in graveyards. Just throwing that out there, just in case, you know, shit starts going wrong. Oh, shotgun shells. Yeah, I'll take those. Why not? Do I get a shotgun with it? Or am I just going to like have to take a hammer to the shells and hope for the best? Yeah, just fucking pop those out. Hello. Okay, is this anything? A tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. 
There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Okay. I'll keep that in mind if I ever find an arrowhead. Jeez, this is turning into a puzzle game all of a sudden. I'm gonna find so many things to open other things. Like eyes of R up in this bitch. Okay, so I can't do anything here either. Maybe I need to go back to the dining room where the zombie where the zombie was. Yeah. Oh shit, but I'm like nearly out of time. Okay, I yeah. I'll end this episode here and pick up on this in the next one. I'm actually very excited about this game. I'm hoping, like, I'll have a good time with it, but, uh, we'll see. I'll, pr I'll definitely need a lot of assistance playing this, though, so, yeah, whatever. This has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.